Alright, film review. Edge of Sanity. This movie follows the story of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, except the movie's called something different. And rather than just focusing on that story, it also focuses on the true events of uh, the Jack the Ripper murders. Also, instead of Jekyll using the typical potion, this time around he uses the drug cocaine to change into Hyde. The way this works is the audience is meant to feel sorry for Jekyll, because he's meant to be the good guy. But that movie takes that all away completely. He's such an arsehole. He just starts yelling at his wife for no reason. And she just wants to know what's going on. And this is meant to be the good guy of the movie? Are you kidding me? What earthly concern is it of yours who it is? Are you going to conquer the medical profession too? Are you opening your own hospital now? Anthony Perkins also did a really good job in this movie at his portrayal of Hyde. He's really creepy with his voice and his facial expressions and the way he looks at the camera. Lucky day, he happened to have one available. <laughs> oh. Lucky day. Now I'm going to talk about some negatives. I don't like the fact that sometimes the movie's like a full blue and then it's a full red. This gives the movie a modern feel. However, this movie does take place in the correct timeline, which is the 1800s. Close to the end of the movie, Hyde kills Jekyll's wife, and the next morning, the police inspector is having a conversation with Jekyll down the stairs. The fact that he doesn't suspect a thing is absolutely astonishing and kind of idiotic. I mean, Jekyll is so calm about the whole thing. His wife literally got killed, and the police inspector hasn't even picked up the pieces yet about maybe this guy has something to do with it. Uh. For me, I don't see any difference in the two characters at all. There is no good or evil. Dr. Jekyll and Hyde are just as bad as each other. The movie ends with the inspector walking out of Dr. Jekyll's house, and Dr. Jekyll looks out the window. Out of all the adaptions of Jekyll and Hyde films I've seen, this is the most fucked up ending I have ever witnessed. He literally gets away with everything, completely everything. Alright, so Edge of Sanity. I'll give this film an 8 out of 10. I was going to give it a 6 out of 10, but it really surprised me with the ending. For a first time viewer, it was definitely a surprise seeing an ending like that. And by first time viewer, I mean I watched this movie for the first time only an hour ago. Alright, bye.